Hola. Okay, la parte final, final part of these lessons, starting with la isla. Es bonita. Remember, I want verbs in your sentences. Hein? Il faut avoir des verbes dans nos phrases pour avoir une belle phrase complète. Um, then we looked at artículos. El, la, los, las. Determinados, specific. Indeterminados. Un, not uno. Un. Una. Unos. Unas, indeterminado, less specific, way more general. Then we looked at contractions. So the combination of a preposition like de with the masculine el, which always gives del, or a, the preposition a, with the same masculine singular el, which becomes al. Those are the only contractions you should have in Spanish class. So the next step was to look closer at the gender of nouns okay los sustantivos sustantivos nouns people places things now in espanol los sustantivos tienen un género that's why whenever i point to a chair i'm like silla silla no we're not done yet <laughs> la silla the chair la chaise for the francophone, sometimes this is going to be an easier concept to get your head around. Parce que déjà en français, on a le concept que les choses euh, y ont un genre. La chaise, la silla. They're not always the same though in Spanish and French. So don't worry for all you anglophones who are used to things being its and having no gender. You just learn as you go with vocabulary. So this chart because I'm supposed to keep these short. This chart is not 100% perfect, okay? It's just to help you. Es una regla general. To help you until you know all, all of your vocabulary by heart, okay? Because memorizar, memorizar, repetir, repetir, practicar, practicar, it's the only way to learn any language. Um, until you know everything, at least you can guess. You can guesstimate and hope that you're right. Because in Espanol, we have something that we call in linguistics, hypercharacterization. It's just a fancy term. <clears throat> Porque, claro, yo soy profesora Julia. I have to use a fancy term once in a while, right, to justify that uh, I'm the one here in front of the class. Well, in front of the screen. Okay. So, hypercharacterization, what does it mean? All it means is that sometimes, let's say 95% of the time, or, or let's be more optimistic and say 98% of the time, you can guess the gender of a noun by looking at it. So if you see the noun or you hear the way it ends, you can kind of guess. That's all this chart is trying to do. I'm just trying to give you some tricks that would have helped me when I started learning Spanish because, <clears throat> soy española. No, soy de Ottawa. Soy de Entonces, most nouns, and remember, general, eh? general, most nouns that end in O, you can guess that they're masculine. That's what that means. So, O, singular, and then how do you make most nouns plural in Spanish? That's where it says plural. Eh, that chart is made to help you. It's just general rules. En español, generalmente, con una S, perfecto. And some nouns, you'll notice that you have E. Yes, if the noun ends in a consonant, okay? Entonces, we'll see exceptions to these rules, but that's how you form plural in Espanol and the gender like this. So, en general, o en general, palabras masculinas. Or, ra, el radiador, masculino. Nouns that end in a tend to be, généralement, son féminin. Ad, uh, la nacionalidad, soy española. Um, la ciudad, the city. Uh, la ville, la ciudad, femenino. Um, tranquilidad. Oh. Ion, a lot of the ion nouns tend to be feminine. And remember, it's a general rule. So you can say la comunicación, la explicación, la traducción, el camión. Profesora, that's right. You're gonna have to memorize stuff. Lo siento mucho. I can't just give you all 
of everything for free. You have to work to speak Spanish correctly. But this should get you out of trouble uh, a lot of the time. Not all the time. Entonces, ¿qué más? Well, look, ista, ista, periodista, um, dentista. A lot of these istas uh, are, well, professions, profesiones. So it can be el dentista, la dentista, el periodista, la periodista, and then, hey, um, pessimista. Oh, wait a minute, those are adjectives. So we'll see how adjectives later agree. Um, Nouns that end in E, estudiante, gente, you either have to know or they're invariable. So gente, la gente, the people, okay, that one's feminine, la gente. But estudiante, ah, how do we know? El estudiante, la estudiante. There, the article will clarify if it's a male student or a female student. And if you're worried about that, you can use El alumno, la alumna, which is very clearly male student, female student. Um, then we have a bunch of nouns that end in consonants. And oh, the ones that end in D, well, a lot of them are add ones. And then some like arbol, el arbol. Sometimes you're not going to know, but this chart helps you at least know how to make the plural. And poco a poco, you go, un peu a la fois, you memorize the actual vocabulary. And a few exceptions, of course. Siempre hay excepciones. That's why we have to memorize stuff. But a few popular ones, día, el día. That's why we say buenos días, because it's masculine. Buenos días, not buenas días. <laughs> Lo siento, I couldn't help it. Mano, la mano, la mano, una mano, a hand. Yes, that's why I'm moving my hand because mano means hand. La mano ends in O, but it's feminine. These things happen. You're just gonna have to accept it. There are exceptions to this fabulous rule of hyper characterization. So it's just to help you out. And if you have a problema, un problema. Yeah, if you have a problema with that, just watch my programa. <laughs> Este es el tema. That's the theme. Yeah, I know. They're bad jokes. Lo siento. And if we were in class, I'm sure I'd be enjoying watching you roll your eyes. <sighs> es la vida. So, I'd like to say goodbye, but before I say goodbye, I'm just going to scroll down. Um, of course, we'll do these activities in class and we'll correct them. But, aha, this is what you have to do. When you mem memorize vocab in Spanish, you can't just say book, livre. No, c'est toujours le livre, el libro. You have to memorize it with the article. Now here I have both el libro or un libro because it's either you know exactly what book you're talking about, el libro, or you don't care, un libro, a book, any book, okay? so. This is some basic classroom vocabulary, and uh, we have it in your book on page 17 and page 20, página 17, página 20, los números, eh? I'm always reviewing numbers. Entonces, página 17 y página 20, repetir, repetir, repasar, repasar. Sí, sí, profesora, no, imposible, terrible. So, review your vocab here. Then, uh, we'll go over the alphabet again, we'll play some games, que bien. Then, aha, que tal tu memoria? What's your memory like? And wait, they're not the same. Claro que no. Why would I have the same thing? I always want you to add and mix vocab. Repetir, repetir, repasar. And that's why we have several uh, different um, little micro lessons and activities that I'll be putting on Learning Branch so you can review and repeat vocabulario, vocabulario. The idea is to always repeat and add. The more you practice, the more you actually watch all the videos, the more you'll learn. It's up to you, okay? Yo ya hablo español. You have to learn. Pues muchas gracias. I still have to get the hang of keeping these shorter. Pero la profesora habla mucho. Lo siento mucho. Okay, adios.